Dunbar and cross the A1, following the signs for the village of Stenton, a hill village on the lower slopes of the Lammermuirs, which retains its early medieval design. It's built from local rose-pink stone and roofed in pantiles, and retains a character unique to the East Lothians. A few miles on and we reach Traprain Law, a volcanic plug that looks rather like a large beached whale. A once important fort was located here, which was the capital of the Votadini, dating from 50 AD. A number of years later, the hilltop capital of this tribe moved to Edinburgh. A hoard of Roman silver was unearthed here in 1919, as the Votadini were collaborators with the Romans, and basically managed this frontier on their behalf, helping to contain the Picts to the north. The leader of the Votadini, King Loth, threw his daughter Thenon off a cliff on Traprain Law, as she had fallen unexpectedly pregnant. Perhaps surprisingly, she survived the fall and crossed the Firth of Forth to Kuros in Fife, where she gave birth to a son, Mungo. As told in our audio guide to the Kingdom of Fife, her son went on to become Saint Mungo, the patron saint of Glasgow. Stay on these side roads and follow the signs for Gifford. We pass Whittingham, once the estate of the Earl of Balfour, one time Prime Minister, whose infamous Balfour question still exercises minds in relation to Palestine to this day. The phrase, Bob's your uncle, was a music hall joke of the time, and referred to his uncle Robert, Lord Palmerston, who got him the job as PM. Gifford's most famous son was born in the manse here, the Reverend John Witherspoon, who emigrated to America and was a signatory on the American Declaration of Independence. Today the village is a model rural idyll, but was once home to industries like linen weaving and paper making. They say the paper used for the Bank of Scotland notes came from here in the early 18th century. Gifford has an orderly, aristocratic air to it and was rebuilt to give Yester House more dignified surroundings. Yester is a private Adam mansion and estate and its gates lie at the end of an avenue of lime trees on the edge of the village. Nearby is the underground Goblin Hall, which is said to have been built by the spirits located near the ruins of Yester Castle, a mile or so away.